Okay, I'm going to show you how to sort out your permissions. Right, if you use Explorer, just browse to your C drive, okay, like we have there, and just find that path that was mentioned um, in your installer that was having the problems. Okay, so go into Program Files. There we go. So get at the properties of common files by right clicking on it and selecting properties. There we go. Okay. Now if you look at the security pane there, you'll notice you won't be able to change the permissions at this point because you, you're not a, an owner of that folder. So I'll show you how to change that first. Ever you ready, Vista? You pile of shit. Okay, so click on the security. The first thing we're going to do is just change the owner because um, that that'll be wrong. Well, it won't be wrong. It just it will be set so you can't actually change the permissions at the moment. So to do that, click on Advanced down the bottom there. Okay, you'll see at the top there's a tab that says Owner. So click on that. Alright, you see that the current owner is system. Now, if yours is a fresh install, the current owner will say something like trusted installer or something like that. So, what you need to do is select your user. So, we're going to change the owner of this folder, set of folders to your um, to your user. Sorry, to do that, you just click on edit. So, we're going to change the owner. We might get the user account control pop up. There we go. So say continue. Oh, God, it's so slow. Okay, and what we're going to do is change it to me. Okay, so select your user. Make sure you select that, the replace owner on subcontainers and objects as well. Okay, it's right down the bottom there. Replace owner on subcontainers and objects. So click OK. Wait for a minute while it sorts his life out. Okay, so say OK to that message. OK again. And OK again. Now you have to close down this property box because we've just changed the ownership, you see. So what we'll do is go all the way back to your Explorer and get the properties of the common files again. So right click and select properties. There we go. This time we'll be able to edit the permissions because because we've got permissions to do it. So this time go to your security tab. Okay. Um, to edit the permissions, just click on edit. All right. Now the first thing we want to make sure that the system, okay, has full control. All right. The next thing you want to make sure is that administrators have full control. All right, and um, the other thing you may want to do, you can either change it for users and give them full control, um, or if you want to, for you, you could just add your user. So, if, say for example, I'm going to add in my user. So I'll click Add and add my username. Okay, so select your user and then allow for full control. The um, the system or the administrators will probably have fixed this issue, but um, just to make sure, we'll add your user as well. Okay, so when you've added those, hit OK. It'll take a moment. And there we go. You should see now at the top there you'll have your user in there with full control. You'll see that the system's got full control. 
and administrators okay and if you wanted to you could have done for users as well um, okay now click OK um, and then try your installation again hopefully that should sort it out for you you may have other permissions that are a bit screwy as well um, so if you do let us know what other folder it'll be and then basically it'll be the same permission issue so just make sure that um, your users got the full rights to that directory should sort it out for you